My name is Harvey Picar. Oh, that's an unusual name, Harvey Picar. 1960 was the year I got my first apartment and my first phone book. Now imagine my surprise when I looked up my name and saw that in addition to me, another Harvey P. Carr was listed. Now, I was listed as Harvey L. P. Carr. My middle name is Lawrence. And he was listed as Harvey P. Carr. Therefore, his was a, was a pure listing. Then in the 70s, I noticed that a third Harvey P. Carr was listed in the phone book. Now, this filled me with curiosity. How could it be three people with such an unusual name in the world, let alone in one city? Then one day, a person I work with expressed her sympathy to me concerning what she thought was the death of my father. And she pointed out an obituary notice in the newspaper for a man named Harvey Picar. And one of his sons was named Harvey. These were the other Harvey Picars. And six months later, Harvey Picar Jr. died. Although I'd met neither man I was filled with sadness. What were they like, I thought. It seemed our lives had been linked in some indefinable way. But the story does not end there. For two years later, another Harvey P. Carr appeared in the phone book. Who are these people? Where did it come from? What did it do? What's in a name? Who is Harvey Picar?